Heritage for the future for 5k2 got some new stuff. Be sure to check the description for everything you need. If you're new to Fight K2, you'll need to register a new account. After that, download Fight K2. Depending on your antivirus, you'll need to whitelist Fight K2 in order to download it. After downloading Fight K2, open the file and it will open up an installation setup. When it asks to install Fight K2, click yes and then you can select which folder to install Fight K2. A folder will automatically be made in your documents, but you can choose to make a new folder and install Fight K2 in there. After you select the folder location, Fight K2 will install, and then you will be directed to a Microsoft DirectX installation. Go through the installation setup, and then install DirectX. After you install DirectX, open up FightK2, log in with your username and password, and you'll be on the home page. Go to Krypton.sh to download ROMs for Hexer Future. Search JoJoBan R1 and download like so. Do the same with Jojo BA. After you get the two ROMs, move the ROMs to the FB Neo ROMs folder. Load up Fight K2. Click on the plus icon on the left side, search Jojo Ban R1, and then click on Join button. Click the Test Game option to load the game. For the non-BGM ROM, download the Jojo BA non-BGM ROM from the description below. Rename the file back to Jojo BA and you'll have the non-BGM ROM. Move it to the ROMs folder. When you load the game, there will be an error message like so. Just click OK and your game should be musicless. Open the game. Challenge one. Instead of using Krypton.sh, there are also JSON files you can download for Fight K2. They allow you to automatically download ROMs when you join a room. The download link is in the description. Once you download them, drag and drop the files from inside the zip file to the emulator folder. Now you can automatically download the ROMs required for any Fight K2 game. Set inputs by pressing F5 or map game inputs when you load the game. Double click on each input to set them. There is a coin button which emulates putting a coin for credits to start the game. The start button which starts the game when there are credits. Your movement inputs up, down, left, and right. There are your attack inputs, weak, medium, and strong attack, and there is your stand input. The inputs not being used, we'll focus on them later. Scrolling all the way down, we have the times three attack macro input for easier rolling and push blocking. For the secret character unlock, press F2 and go down to the seventh option and press weak attack. Move to the second option 
and press weak attack. Now enter up, down, right, left, weak attack, medium attack, strong attack, and stand in that order. When you hear that sound, it means you did it correctly. Now select the bottom option to go back to the previous menu and select the bottom option again to save it. Select the bottom option to return back to the game. The secret characters should be unlocked now. Challenge people by right clicking their name and either doing a first to set for ranked or unranked to just keep playing games. Remember to allow the firewall when you first start playing. To spectate a match, double click on their match, or either right click and click spectate. You can access your replays by clicking on profile which directs you to your Fight Kid profile. Click on Replays, and you'll be able to view your replays. Click on your profile pic on the bottom left and send yourself away if you do not want to receive any challenges from other players. Be sure you have something that would extract files, like 7-Zip or WinRAR. Links to download those will be in the description. In the hedge for the future lobby, you will see a training button for the modded training mode. When you click it, the training mode for the game will open. You are able to select your characters freely, but be sure you have set Player 2 inputs. To do so, press F5 and set the Player 2 inputs, along with setting your Not in Use 1 and 2 inputs. You can see on the left and right, it will show the player 1 and player 2 inputs. But this is using Peon 2's training mode. We are going to be using a new training mode by Maxi with Multi's beginner combo trials. Download the mega file from the description and extract the file. When you load the game via training mode or via test game, click on game, LUA scripting, and then new LUA scripting window. Click on browse and locate your JoJo training mode folder, and then click on training mode LUA file. Click open and then run. Your game should now look like this. Press the coin button to open the menu, and you should have a plethora of options to choose from, like combo trials and showing hitboxes. Your not in use buttons 1 and 2 are used to record and replay your inputs, like so. You can also use the LUA file in the spectator and replay mode. While you are spectating or replaying a match, follow the same steps but instead open the JoJo Replay Spectator LUA file. Run the file, and then you should be able to see the inputs. What the fuck is this connection? Yeah, I know Elf Noah made a video on it. Download the Jacket Dio Patcher from the description below and extract files.
you're going to need the JoJo BA and JoJo Band R1 ROMs. From the JoJo BA files, drag and drop the sim files from 3.0 to 5.7 into the original folder, located in the Jacket Deal Patcher. For JoJo Band R1, drag and drop all the sim files in the original folder. After that, click jdo.bat and it will patch your files. Now go to the output folder and drag all the sim files to the JoJo B8 zip folder. Drag the sim files 1.0 to 2.3 to the JoJo Band R1 zip folder. Put the files back in the ROMs folder and load up the game. The ROM does work with PAL modded ROMs and non-BGM ROMs. If you have any questions or any issues, be sure to ask in the Heritage for Future Discord server. Alright, I'll see you guys later.